Hey Pocket Classroom family, welcome back. Welcome to the video lecture on derived units. So in our last video lecture, we discussed about what are fiscal quantities, what are the basic fiscal quantities, what are the SI units of the basic fiscal quantities and why those SI units are called the basic units. If you are here on this channel the first time, then I highly recommend you to watch that tutorial first. The video link of the lecture is given in the description box below. Watch that one, then only you will be able to understand this one. Okay, now let's begin our discussion. Here, we have to discuss about derived units. So we know that there are only seven basic fiscal quantities, okay? And the SI units of those basic fiscal quantities are called the basic units. Because we use those basic units to find out the SI units of the remaining fiscal quantities. For example, we have taken some of the fiscal quantities that we deal in our scientific studies. So we have area, we have volume, we have density, we have velocity, we have acceleration, we have force, we have pressure and we have work or and energy. So these are some of the fiscal quantities which are not the basic fiscal quantities. And the units that we have that we will derive here will use the SI units of those seven basic fiscal quantities, right? So let's begin. This is area. Now we know that whenever we calculate area, its unit is always either square meter, square centimeter square, or square kilometer square, okay, if that, that area is in kilometers, okay? So that is basically what meter square. So if we are talking about area, then the unit is square meter or square centimeter or anything, Main thing is length square and the symbol is meter square. Similarly, this is another basic physical quantity, quantity that is volume. We know that if we try to find out uh, the volume of a cube, of a cuboid, of any solid shape, then it always comes as either meter cube or centimeter cube. That's what we have here. The symbol is meter cubed. Right? Now, here we have density. What is density? When we talk about density, then density is equal to, we know that mass is equal to volume multiplied by density. This is the formula. So when you have to calculate the density, density is actually equal to mass per unit volume, right? Mass per unit volume. That gives us mass unit volume. That gives us the formula of formula for density. What's mass? We know that the SI unit or the basic unit of mass is kilogram, okay, by for unit volume, here we have seen here that it's meter cubed, right? So here it is meter cubed. So basically it is kilogram meter raised to the power of minus three. That's what we have written here. So basically this is kilogram per cubic meter, kilogram per cubic meter, we can write it as kilogram per cubic meter. That's what kilogram meter raised to the power of minus three. Then we have velocity. So when we talk about velocity, velocity is basically what? Velocity is equal to displacement divided by unit time that is time right so displacement is basically what you are taking it in the form of length right or distance so that will be actually meter right the si unit of the length is basically what meter and then for time it is what second so that's meter per second meter per second or we can write it as meter per second in this form, right? 
that's what we have written here in the same way you have acceleration so what's acceleration when we talk about acceleration it is change in the velocity if this is acceleration then this is change in the velocity change in the velocity basically we are talking about velocity because when you'll calculate the change in the velocity you'll finally get the velocity only change in the velocity per unit time that is the time taken when this change in the velocity happens so what's basically velocity if you see here we have velocity here what's the unit of this uh, velocity meter per second so this is meter per second again what is the si unit of time the basic unit that is second so we can write it as meter second this and this is basically what meter per second square right so that is what we have done here this is meter per second per second meter per second and per second that's what we have written here right next is force now what's force force is force is mass of the object multiplied by acceleration if we apply some force on an object and it moves by an acceleration of a that this that is basically force equal to mass into acceleration now tell me what is the si unit of mass that's kilogram okay multiplied by here we have calculated the unit for acceleration that is meter per second square so this kilogram is the si unit of mass that is it is the basic unit of mass because using this only you can calculate the unit of force that is why it's the basic it's the basic unit of this mass okay so kilogram multiplied by meter per second square so we can write it as kilogram meter per second square here it is kilogram meter per second square or the unit is actually newton it is named after newton so you'll write newton or that is equal to kilogram meter per second square why newton because it is named after the scientist newton so newton or kilogram meter per second so kilogram meter per second square this is in the same way you have pressure pressure is basically what force per unit area your pressure is force applied per unit area so force is what newton or kilogram meter per second square right and area so if you see here we have meter square the unit of area is what meter square so this is meter square so this becomes newton per meter square square meter or in the same way here it will be meter squared so this becomes if you solve this one you will get kilogram and this is m divided by m squared this becomes m raised to the power of this is minus one that is per square meter per second square right so this is what we have written here here you have work or energy that is force multiplied by displacement what is work done force applied on an object and the displacement that you gain by applying that force on that object so work done is equal to force multiplied by the displacement so here we have seen either you can write it as newton multiplied by displacement is basically what distance or you're actually talking about length so that is newton multiplied by newton meter or take this one kilogram meter per second square and multiplied by this is what 
meter so this is kilogram meter squared and this is per second square so either this or this one that's what we have written here okay and basically it is joule for pressure it is pascal you can write it in the term in the terms of kilogram per meter per second square here kilogram per meter squared per second square sorry meter squared per second squared so newton pascal joule these three units are named after three scientists right okay another important thing is it's newton not newton when you are talking about unit let's say that you say that the force is one newton or one newton you will not write it as one newton not you cannot write it like this here you can see here this newton in the same way it's one pascal it's one pascal not one pascal this has to be uh, the smaller case letter okay this has to be in smaller case and this is one joule not one joule again smaller case letter not the uppercase letter and then you have words and symbols must not be mixed they cannot be mixed like you cannot write it as meter then this is in the words and then this is in the symbol right we can see here it's in symbol so you cannot mix the two this is meter per second you can write it like either like this meter per second or using symbols either words or symbols complete words complete symbols but not the mixture of the two in the same way it's newton per square meter that is you're talking about pascal force applied per unit area so newton per square meter either only words or only symbols not the mixture of don't mix the two right so this is about the derived units again why these are derived units because we have seen here that using the seven basic si units using the seven basic si units these si units we have calculated the units of the sum of these physical quantities right so why are those seven basic units because using those seven basic units you calculate the units of the other remaining physical quantities 